Okay, so it's Monday, September 18th. And I have uh, I put some motto on this. I'm saying it a little and gave it another bit of code black just to see. And there's some rough spots. But I think what I'm going to do is try try and put those plates on that I was talking about that look similar to what I did here. Um, I have this hold this back so you can see it better. Yeah. Pause your video. You can look at the details of this, but these this, these are the plates. Now these have a jog on the framing, so the the plates are supported. Sometimes they didn't do that. They had a straight frame line, and then they used a uh, kind of like a backer plate. And, uh, and then they're all they're like shingles lapped to the back. So you start here and and put them on that way. So and uh, the other issue is like. What size should I? This here is a plan, an actual. This, they actually uh, had a layout of the plates. So I imagine they cut these to that shape and then put them on. And uh, I don't know, that's a little bit beyond my. Uh, Capabilities, so I think I'm just going to start with straight pieces and see what happens. Uh, then the other issue is the size. Um, if I I look at this thing, which I built a while back, um, this is a one thirty second scale model of the uh, Ben Ain and uh, those plates are nine and a third it's like nine feet four inches by four feet three inches and that's what's showing uh, that doesn't account for overlap so I think I'll just, i use that as a, a size to start with. Uh, this ship here, I think, is a little bit longer than Ben Ain was. Uh, but it should be close enough. These here, I calculated the sizes of these by knowing that ship here is... Uh, 325 feet long so I just counted up the the number of plates in one row and uh, divided that into 325 it's kind of a rough way to do it but uh, anyway that <laughs> it gave me plates uh, 17 feet long by uh, about three feet wide so I don't know I think I'm gonna go with the Ben Ain stuff so basically nine and a half feet by four and a half feet or something like that uh, and then you know like uh, basically I'll have one one piece of paper with nothing on it except a, a row of rivets running across this way. That, you know, every, I don't know, every two feet or whatever, just a double row going like this. And that would be 
one of the be the under the plate that would be under the other two would be have a double row of rivets. Um, so, you know, the, the, that makes it a little easier because only, uh, I don't know, a half to a third or whatever of these uh, things do I have to go through that to uh, making rivets on. So anyway, that's where we're at today. Uh, this is a good book. I don't know if I've shown you this one. Uh, this is another one by this, these two guys, Fenton and Wayne. Just full of stuff. All kinds of stuff. If you're interested in these kind of ships, uh, I found these just by going uh, online and searching for the, uh, the title and the authors. And it, you know, they were not really that expensive. Uh, Thirty dollars or something like that. So, anyway, that's uh, that's where we're at. All right. So we got Tuesday, September nineteenth, and I started this uh, plating, <laughs> fake plating. So you can see the rivets. I uh, I, I assume. That in reality every frame was much. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe the books I have aren't really clear on that. Whether well, these plates were riveted to every single frame, which would be like every 20, 21 inches or whatever. Uh, but it's just too much uh, for me to consider doing. It's bad enough doing this. So what I've got here is the next the next set um, is double riveted on the ed on the long edges. What's going on? It's sticking together. All right. So this one, these are gonna go on like like that of course it'll be turned around so I guess I'm gonna have to make before I do that I'll have to make another row down below this backer piece and I looked at the uh, the way the uh, the Ben Ain is done. Uh, basically, from the deck height, the bulwark is all, all separate metal. So there'll be seams going this way uh, for the bulwark. Uh, and then here at the front, they kind of patch it in. I guess. Uh, I'll have a step or else it'll just go down to here and then up. I don't know. But there's going to be, obviously, there'll be a lot of uh, uh, kind of custom pieces that I'll have to cut. Uh, yeah, this was my kind of a plan I had which it kind of fell apart. Uh, yeah, so, so the next row below the backer is gonna have the ends done only. And the row over the backer has rivets all, all around all four edges so 
You have to kind of go, kind of go slow. This I'm using the white glue, and it takes a long time to dry. So this is gonna this is gonna take a while to do. That's it for today. Still Wednesday, the nineteenth of September, and this is what how far I've gotten. Well, I've done other things today. I, this isn't the whole. You can see, see. I don't know which is better. You could this damn white glue gets all over your hands, and you get these little. I don't know. I think when it's painted flat black it'll be pretty nice and I might I, I was thinking I might I might do another row in here along to there I don't know that looks kind of odd to me like this uh, should have started curving it up a little earlier oh well anyway so I start, basically I have to start at the top because uh, whatever happens down at the, you know, at the keel can be, you know, an odd width. But yeah, this is too bad. I really should have, should have uh, started curving it maybe higher. I don't know. I just decided, based on the uh, Benane, that uh, this stuff follows the height of the main deck all the way back to the court, raised quarter deck. Maybe it should have gone like that. I don't know. Anyway, that's the way it is, and that's the way it's going to stay.